Peter, you're an internationally acclaimed illustrator, author, and filmmaker. Is there one specific project that is closest to your heart? Well, from all the projects I did, I, I think uh, more and more uh, all these projects to do with uh, growing up in Prague. So I did three books really which are related to Prague, and uh, that's the book Three Golden Keys, The Wall, and Tibet Through the Red Box begins in Prague. And then one of my best images uh, is the Flying Man, which was made into the tapestry in Prague Airport. So all these things are connected to my childhood in Prague. Beautiful. You have won an astounding array of awards for your work. You're a seven-time winner of the New York Times. Eight Review. times. Eight times. Yeah, eight times. Eight, eight times. Well, but it, it makes no difference, really. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, best Illustrated Book of the Year, a two-time Boston Globe Horn Book Awards honoree. Your list, the list is extensive. Um, you've also won the Hans Christian Andersen Award. Which award has meant the most to you in your career? There was one award in America, which I think it's a great idea for everybody to have such an award, and it's called um, MacArthur Fellowship. And when they call you, when they give you this recognition, they give you money. So because they say your art can make a difference in the world, and you get money for actually it's forever, but unfortunately it's just for five years, and you can sort of do. Uh, what you desire to do. So I did the, my book, The Wall, really was so complex and difficult. It took me five years, but I was able to do it with this award. So that's a good one. If, if, they, if it comes with the money, it's a good one. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, your book, The Wall, Growing Up Behind the Iron Curtain, has garnered high praise. Can you tell us about the journey behind the creation of this book? It started as an idea just of little anecdotes from my childhood when I was trying to explain uh, to my American kids how it was to stand in the line to get bananas or how it was uh, to be a young uh, pioneer with the red scarf singing Soviet uh, national anthem in Russian and it sounds it sounded like a uh, little anecdotes and it sounded funny but then when I put it together it started to show the whole picture of uh, what as a child uh, I was going through in my generation and I my editor actually got interested, but it took a long time to find some balance how to tell it to um, the kids and the audience in America. Until today, it's very difficult to understand because some people would say, oh, you had it so difficult and you have it so easy, but it wasn't meant like that. It was supposed to show human condition, really, and how easily it can happen to anybody in the world, how all of a sudden somebody's telling you, oh, you can't leave this room, or you have to put on the purple hat or something and, and you go with it just because uh, you are part of the, the mass. So that, that was, I think that book is still very meaningful in that way. Beautiful. As a young man, you were fascinated by Western culture, um, Allen Ginsberg, The Beatles, Rolling Stones. What are you curious about today? I mean, what <laughs> of the world influences inspire your art? Well, the thing was that when we were young, we were fascinated by Western culture because we are not supposed to be fascinated by the Western culture. So now I'm fascinated because I cannot be young anymore. I'm fascinated by everything what young people do, if it's uh, any kind of art. And uh, my daughters uh, show some artistic inclination. So just the other day I was saying like, so where is it going to lead to? Are you going to have an exhibition or are you going to publish a book? And she said, Dad, it's art. I'm just doing art. It's like, and I was like, oh, I'm getting really old, so I'm fascinated by everything what the young people do. That's lovely. Uh, you recently visited South Africa for the unveiling of the Nelson Mandela Tapestry. Can you tell us a little bit about the experience? So I, just, I was in South Africa for six days, and I was with wonderful young people in the airport of Cape Town uh, for the unveiling of this tapestry, and it was a wonderful experience. It was also humbling because the first day we spent the uh, whole day in Robben Island, where uh, Nelson Mandela was for many years, so you're thinking how, what was he thinking, what was he doing, which you cannot imagine, but it's amazing to see the place of uh, torture and sadness, and then you see uh, Table Mountain and beautiful blue sky in distance, so it's, 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 it really is a torture in the way. But it was an amazing experience, a beautiful country with wonderful people, and yet you have all these uh, stories of, uh, his, his story is so painful. 
the 30th of January, there'll be an opening exhibition of some of um, the work in the story of beads. And can you tell us a little bit about the work being exhibited? Well, this is the project when, when I did the book, The Wall, uh, the publisher of the Czech edition, Labyrinth, put, got the idea to show some of the materials which are talked about in the book. So this is sort of extended version of the book with lots of personal items explaining what was the music, what was the politics, what was the situation. I think it's still very important to know it's part of history, but now it's becoming, uh, it all happened such a long time ago that it, uh, sometimes it makes sense to me, but it doesn't make uh, sense to younger generation. So I, I just hope it all can be understood and explained because it's part of it. What is one of your most favorite cultural experiences of the Czech Republic? I like everything, um, everything uh, new, like uh, when people come up with new... F I like young generation because they are not restricted like my generation was. So you could have theater of brothers foreman on the boat on the river, or you can have a dog's art gallery, or you can have people dancing. Everything which is unusual I like very much, especially in small country as Czech Republic is. Great. And what is one of your favorite cultural experiences of American culture? American, anything public in America, I like very much when it's really democratic and public. So I like like the libraries, or I like the national parks, or like the place, I don't know now if it's public, but it is public, the High Line in, 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 in Chile, when people can appreciate like being together and walk someplace, or experiencing art when the art is done without the sort of commercial uh, element that you want to make money, it's just uh, amazing. And there are so many people in the theater, it's bread and puppet, or uh, I, I just love that, that public element and, and, and coming from the all people of America. Uh, you also have a new exhibition and form screening of your work at the Mary Ryan Gallery. Can you tell us a little bit about that exhibition? Well, it's a, it's a, it, it just opened and it's a wonderful, small, very pristine exhibition. But what is amazing for me that Mary Ryan has got this giant uh, screen, film screen, which is uh, facing High Line. And it will be showing my animation for next two months every day from like three o'clock till 9.30 in the evening. And I was standing there yesterday looking at my film I did as my diploma <coughs> in Prague. It's called Mimicry, it's with the music of Blue Effect. And it was created in 1974, so it's like 50 years ago. And it's on this giant screen and you see it from Highland and you have all these skyscrapers uh, of New York. And actually it look, the colors look like it. it it's funny probably when you wait for the time to change it was quite interesting after all these years and they will be showing now all the this animation and people walking on high line they will see it so that's sort of like amazing new extension of what i what i did that's amazing um, can you share any advice for young illustrators embarking on this career in new york that's so hard because you usually say the usual things but i think it sounds trivial but if you say like follow your dream and don't get anybody to corrupt or you know, like I wish I could tell this to my daughter, and she said it's just art, <laughs> but just follow your dream. That's all.